Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, I'm on my 35th winter forecasting snowstorms, and some are more challenging than others. And, and this one is certainly challenging for a couple of reasons. One, it, it's just starting to form, and, and the final snowfall accumulations really won't be realized until Saturday evening. That's 48 hours out. So in that 48 hour period, there's a lot of fluctuations that can happen in the atmosphere. But obviously, we're going to give you some hard numbers as to snowfall accumulations and location. But with that said, you do want to check back with us over the next uh, day and a half. In fact, tomorrow is actually a pretty quiet weather day so our weather team will just be you know, crunching more numbers in the meantime uh, we're cold we're dry been a few flurries out towards New Bedford uh, partly cloudy skies in Newport right now temps that are in the low to mid 20s you can see a few of these snow showers passing through Buzzards Bay right now temperatures range from 21 in Smithfield 23 Providence 26 Newport and New Bedford westerlies at 26 as well so let's take a look at the threat tracker. We show this every night. It's it's got three color codes, green, yellow for moderate, and of course red is high. Not often that we go to this color, but certainly uh, it's worthy of it on Saturday for a number of reasons. Very heavy snow, strong wind gusts, difficult travel, poor visibility. Wouldn't surprise me if it's snowing at the rate of one to two inches per hour, coupled with strong wind. Also, the texture of the snow, because it'll be all snow. The texture of the snow, because it's so cold, will be kind of dry. It'll, it'll easily blow around and drift. That in itself reduces visibility. The plows clear the roads, and then the wind blows the snow back over, so that kind of a deal. Uh, so the pet potential is there for some, some power outages. Heavy snow and strong wind. I would say the risk is at least moderate statewide. I mean, we're forecasting wind gusts at times over 50 miles per hour, especially along the, the coastline. Uh, significant snow, and that's something that we'll keep an eye on, especially by Saturday afternoon and into a Saturday evening. So impacts, heavy snow likely, difficult travel likely, the moderate risk of some scattered outages. Coastal flooding, it's a moderate risk, though I would say along our south shore, it's, it's more minor to moderate. It's a little more uh, significant for east coastal mass from Boston, Cape Ann, down through like Situate and Cape Cod uh, area. So in the meantime, it's fairly quiet other than that little snow shower passing through Buzzards Bay. Here's the wider view. See some snow off to our west with an approaching cold front. We'll see. I will actually see some light snow showers tomorrow. That's that's not the storm. In fact, the storm that we're watching is developing in the beginning stages right in here. So there's a little piece of energy embedded within the jet stream. I know that doesn't look like much, but this will dive off across the southern plains. And what it will do is help to orient the storm track of the jet stream, which in turn decides how this storm will track. I mean, it'll track and intensify north and east, but the exact track will determine the amount of, of snow. But we take a look at this and there's that red L. There's the storm. Here we are early Saturday morning. The snow kicking in, the wind increasing, wind swept heavy snow Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, and then the storm is racing away late on Saturday night. We use a number of computer models to predict snowfall amounts. So let me show you a few of them that we kind of use behind the scenes. This first one is called the GFS model. The pink represents the heaviest snow, and that is in eastern Massachusetts. I mean, here in Rhode Island, we get a hefty amount, but the higher amounts are in eastern Mass. This other model, which we call the European model, is really just a statewide, region-wide, very heavy snow uh, over a foot. And then one last model that we use in-house is called the graph model is pointing towards southeastern mass with the higher snowfall amounts. So with all those models, we kind of come up with a blend and the net result on our first call here with a specific accumulation map is a general 12 to 18. So on the low end, which isn't that low at all, 12 on the high end, 18, and then even higher amounts in eastern Massachusetts. Check back to see if this has to be tweaked up or down. I mean, we're, again, this won't be realized until Saturday evening, Saturday night. In the meantime, both tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon, I wouldn't rule out some scattered light snow showers and flurries and even during the afternoon, but that's not the storm itself. That arrives late on Friday night. All right, seven day forecast shows uh, your windswept heavy snow, a uh, high impact uh, nor'easter on Saturday. Temperatures cold, mid and upper 20s. Sunday, Mike and Shannon, the better day, obviously, with sunshine and temperatures in the mid to upper 20s. Check back, still a, a ways away as far as tweaking things, but right now, a substantial snowfall likely. All right, Tony, thanks. All right. Now for a look at what's coming up on News Nation tonight, here's Dan Abrams.